Lingayuni mwenye alimaliza mwenye ali drop out hapa. Anyway, all of us on the podcast now. Over 26. This is the Burger Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Burger Podcast. The mics are cool. Now when you watch it you'll understand. What up man I'm Mr. Chatsi the mastermind you are man guy the lord Oh Chaxi. my god imagine be there do 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 Check him when you edit it say bleep ko your lord Thanks Na kutumia ta bleep hata kani wewe Ni tumia ta jito Man the amazing Mariah and Mwasa here the whole gang is here Mike check episode 28 Yes yes Woo! How can I didn't get an adjective this time? I I miss about the amazing, amazing Mars and Mariah. The amazing Mariah is here and Mars. Uh, no, I said no, the amazing okay. Mars and Mariah. Yeah. I said the amazing. The Lord has not blessed me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who claims to be the Lord and love us equally. You are doing. <laughs> I, <laughs> love, I love you man always. Yes. Mkwaje, how you all doing man? Man, I'm tired. Yeah, clearly. I'm I'm, I'm exhausted man. <laughs> I saw Mariah. I, I met right. Mariah randomly in the club on Saturday. Saturday that, that, that was Sunday actually because it was, like, it was like midnight. Uh, when you say like Saturday night, touch it. Yeah. Maneno like, mingi wacha. The next day begins when yeah. you wake up. Before you wake up is still the same yeah. day. Like nikifika home 6 in the morning, I won't be at I got home 6 yeah. in the morning on Sunday. I'll yeah. be like I got even, even the days we leave the club at 7 a.m. You're like hey after that we're chicken in Saturday morning. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> 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 we got chicken to go home. Yeah. Oh my god. So I uh, Then a new day begins for me after I wake up. Yeah. Before I wake up is still the previous That's day. That's why all nah. my Sundays start at lunch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, um yeah. I oh yes. Sorry, I think we cut you short on your time. No, you don't know story. No, say yeah, yeah, I'm just tired. Nah, like the whole of last week was just super eventful. So there was this church thing that was going on. Church. Yeah. What were you I can tell you guys I'm saved just because I'm here I'm always cracking saved down from jokes. What? Yeah, I'm saved. I'm a <laughs> Christian what? and I believe in God. Are well, you saved though? Yeah, so was, you. there was being, yeah. Being, being Christian, baptized. Being Christian yeah. is fine. You're baptized at a big age, my just small age. Small cuz Anglicans Oh, yeah. also back Wait, you're not Anglican? I am, but we just changed but originally I'm Anglican. Like even but when I not, get married, I'll get married in Saint 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 All Saints Cathedral. Yeah, cuz that's Wait, where I was baptized. Hold up. Yeah, so you are Anglican, you changed but your Pentecostal, ch- but if you get married, yeah. you'll be married in an Anglican church. That's a must. That's What? a must. Why? We're all Anglicans. My grandma goes St. Stephen's. Mm-hmm. We're all Anglicans. It's just that, you know, you decide to just go where you want to go. Okay, so then then why 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 don't you just become Angli- Anglican? Bra, Angli- no offense, Anglican churches. I've <laughs> <laughs> been Anglican my whole life. <laughs> you ah, are you? I'm an Ang- okay. I'm supposed, <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be Anglican, but I was born, raised Anglican, baptized, yeah. you know. That's Me crazy because I was thing. born, even yeah. the time when, you know, like Anglican, it's crazy because you go for this thing for confirmation. Did you go for confirmation? No. Were, were you guys baptized with a, with a gun? That, that's Remember during COVID, they used to baptize kids yeah. with guns. No, as guys, we went for, so I was baptized and then at like class 7, 13 years old, 14 maybe. Yeah. 12, 13, 12, 14, 13. there. Yeah. We went for this class where we were being confirmed to be I don't know Catholic things. Catechism classes. Yeah. That's Catholic. And then after that they gave us wine. Cuz now we had to take we can partake the Holy Spirit. And me I remember the first like <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? The first uh sip. First communion. Communion, yeah. Yeah. Cuz we Anglicans have a sip. Yeah. So actually we share in that church. <laughs> This guy thinks that you're like a chaser. <laughs> and the body of Christ <laughs> and some <laughs> tonic. <laughs> the first sip. <laughs> no, no, but you're talking about wine. That's what I'm asking. Yes, about they the give us wine. communion. And you know church wine is like Oh, they dip the thing in the wine. Yeah. No, 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 they give you una You put your right the, hand over the, the left or the left over the right. Yeah. They put like a small piece of bread and then you take it mm. and then they give you the wine. The wine. That's why you know we're living because kuna took They give you the wine from what? From a tot glass. Oh, everyone gets their own tot glass. Yeah, yeah but if you if sometimes the the leaders and then you get like a the you know, glass the, the metal glass. of course. Cups. Yeah. What do you think because I mean why do you think the rest of it goes to after the, after you guys are given tots? They as, drink it. As guys were given the leftovers. So me I had two what? shots of wine. Then I left the church like. Hands up, but the wine is the Holy Spirit. 
it's and wine is because I saw church wine at, at a supermarket when I was buying wine recently. What do you mean church wine? Yeah, it's not the same. No. It's called church wine. We and have it, it at home. Cross. It's like 18%. Yeah. 18? 18%. Bro. It's wine. Bro, it's that's, what I, that's what I need in my life. The blood that's of Christ. Legit. The blood of Christ is lit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so. Yeah. And that's the only brand they use. Mm. So if they miss that, no frontier or nothing. You can't use that. Yeah, that's, that's, he, that's yeah. illegal. That's, <laughs> that's <around>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so the church one is made of what? Let me. Google. I don't know, but Same it's, it's but I think it's anointed. Manini. I'll do this. But bro, I've never anointed it. Who anoints it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Kafu. I'll buy, I'll see a bottle and then I'll look at the location details. Nah, then, when I get home, I'll take like, a picture for yeah. you guys. Why do you have church ox, one at ox, ox have it. Because my, my mom was trying this thing and she she really thought that she wanted to be a nun. Yeah, she gave up after you kukula. To have like two glasses of that thing. But she like, gave ah, up. that's not why she gave up. <laughs> we know. Yeah. Yeah. We know your, why she gave up. Your mom up wanted to be a nun. Yeah. Your mom, <laughs> after having you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> but you can do it at whatever time. So no, I'm telling you, we all know why she didn't I'm become a nun. <laughs> For you to become a nun, you, you, know, have to, you, know. you have to pledge your purity to Christ. Oh, my gosh. I guess. Yeah, no, if you know, you know. Nah. Yeah, see, now it's just in the house, so. No. I no, just, this, I get this thing. Need, this yeah. thing is 1600 and it's on all delivery apps. Yeah. It's called uh, Altar Wine. That's yeah. what I'm going to get. That's what I'm getting. It's legit. It's 18. Oh, my gosh. It's 18%. It's legit wine. It's legit wine. You know, you go all out at a Bayata Robia. You know, Alex has a robe. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Shad, do you know how. There's a time I threw up a costume party at my house and Alex came dressed as a priest. He spent like. Thousands of money on that outfit. That's yeah. crazy. Like, like, even actually, with the thing. <laughs> yeah. You know that kind you of know, thing. You've not seen the pictures online? What is it? The called? pictures are online everywhere on Twitter, if you search. <laughs> I should <laughs> probably <laughs> check it out, but I've never been that. I'll show you. I'll, I'll get the pictures. Yeah. Just, uh, I'll find them. But anyway, that's crazy because I was born yeah. like in a, in a, I was born in a Catholic yeah. family. Uh-huh. So earlier on, I, and what I remember now? going to Catholic... Now I'm the Lord. <laughs> I was, was going to wait for him to say it. Oh, I'm atheist and I'm like, you don't even believe in yourself. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm the Lord. <laughs> but so, so I think that's very common amongst yeah. us. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, so there is, away from touch, mm-hmm. I finally jo- I joined Bumble. Are you guys on Bumble? Oh, I told you I don't heard do about it. Dating things. So I, so I was watching um I was watching this um show by Tiana Taylor that mm-hmm. I thought was really dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the the discussion was about so it's sponsored by Bumble. Mm-hmm. It's on YouTube and the discussion was on on Bumble mm-hmm. is the only dating site where the lady is the only one who can make the first move. Oh wow. Like you you can't as a dude. Oh. Yes. So I was okay. like, oh shit, this is dope. I've never ever been on a dating so site. It's, so it's guaranteed yeah. all the all your demons are sure bits. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, like literally, let me see. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Like, I literally signed up right before I came here. Literally. You put your photos up. I put like, yeah, they needed like six pictures. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you if I have any notification to the video. But, 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 but it's crazy because I was like, shit, I have never been on a dating site. Mm-hmm. This sounds like so dope. What and, have you, what mm-hmm. have you, and bro, hey, man, I've been on a dry spell. What have you put under interested? The way they say oh, shit, 17. Whoa. So 17, I have 17 new and 13 nearby. And all 17 are recently active. So who knows, bro? Let's see how the night okay. ends. Maybe it's, yeah. maybe, it's all, maybe, maybe it's all of us pranking wow. you. <laughs> maybe it's that, let's all sign up for Bumble and DM Chucks. <laughs> I love one about a mic check. <laughs> it's Dano, bitch. <laughs> that would be dope. Uh, but y'all didn't know I was on Bumble. So anyway, I'm curious. I'm curious, honestly. Yeah. I don't, okay. I'm not like too serious about it, but who knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who this knows? He's using his nini to just announce. Maybe maybe <laughs> kuna When you get home, you can like, I didn't get you from Bumble. I had it on mic check. <laughs> <laughs> so I signed up. There's a new one I've been told about today. Yeah. Um, for sugar babies sh- seeking sugar daddies. I heard about that one. It's called and sugar mamas. Yeah, it's called seeking as well. Seeking. Mm. That's it. let me download yeah. it as we. As we so continue. seeking on the profile, you you write like I need your, money. I need money. No, like, like that's your, not the one I had. So I had about one that is just specifically for escorts. Uh, no, we're escorts. talking about different things. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. Like no, this one is for sugar babies and sugar mummies. That one is for sex work. Wait, it's called seeking. Same thing. It's not the same thing. It's, it's same not the same thing. thing. It is the things. same thing. It's not the same thing, Mariah. It is. We won't get into it. Last time she got too passionate it about is it. It is the yeah. same thing. It's the same thing. It's so, the same thing. 
Yeah. Anyway, so that's let me Someone know. Like I saw I saw a profile, my friend was showing me it had a profile. You can see like some old guys, like I'm 47, mm. I'm worth 10 million dollars. Um, I'll be traveling in uh, G Europe between August and September. So if you're around, hit me up. Bro, have you never have you never told yeah. me about That's this? Exactly. And I'm looking for this, this, and this, and this, and I'm willing to that give is this. Proper and this. escort yeah. service, but okay. Bro, but I'm like, if someone, okay. if someone, sugar baby if someone is different. Sugar babies is, is escort pay per your report per hour, but sugar babies like go get your nice. Let me yeah. take shopping. Come to party. Bro, we need thing. we need we need gear for Mike check. Can we all sign up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here like, oh my god. <laughs> she was 64. <laughs> nah. But we have lights. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not ready for therapy. I'm good. <laughs> but we have lights. No, I'm serious. Yeah. Let's sign up. I guess. You know, you have to put your net worth. How much you live with? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I own is mine. <laughs> You're like, oh, my clothes. Uh, <laughs> four, four liters of the touch wine. <laughs> Unlimited uh, supply of the touch wine. It's so interesting. No, yeah. for real. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously signing up. But I got, I'll, I'll, I'll update you on my Bumble experience. Let's oh, see so how this let goes. Me, let me show you. Like, the, the, the thing I liked most about Seeking was on the profile, when you're setting up your profile. I haven't mm. found it. Though. Yeah, on the relationships. I'll, I'll, I'll send you like a link. Okay. Um, on the relationship setup, it has like single, searching, um, and then it has married, and then it had married but seeking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's fine. Yeah. I mean, people have open marriages. Yeah. Or people cheat. Or exactly. People cheat. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I like, I like open that marriages. it's an option now. Like, it's yeah. there. Like, honestly, bro, like, mm -hmm. like, genuinely speaking, I feel like if I was to get into a relationship now, because mm -hmm. I'm not really a firm believer of monogamy, but I... Like I'm not opposed to it, but it has to. Okay. It, it must have room for growth or evolution into something else. Growth or evolution, <laughs> <laughs> two no, different no. bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, we must I'm... have room for growth <laughs> and evolution. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for you, think about it. I always like it when niggas are justifying <laughs> yeah, having sex know, with other people. No, they become lawyers. Evolution and growth no, into other vaginas, <laughs> guys. Guys, <laughs> no, uh, it's not what I mean. What I I'm saying what mean, is, yeah. I mean. Um, I don't believe in the fact that you can just see one person your whole life. You it's can. possible, though. But all I'm saying is, we can it can start even as mo as monogamous. But as long as the communication is open, mm -hmm. like if you have interest in someone else, then it's fine to discuss it, and it's okay to pursue it. Okay. Like it's it's okay for the relationship to evolve and into grow. whatever <laughs> whatever is meaningful <laughs> to both of you. Whatever, as long as yeah. there's. There's honesty and mm -hmm. there's open discussions on how you feel. So you'd be okay with it? Like, if you ask you, like, where's your babe? Um, she's just giving she's a blowjob. With, yeah, she's, she's with, with Alex. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we could, we could also have threesomes and all. With Alex? <laughs> not Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having a threesome with Alex. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> you, you wouldn't? Yeah, I, I was, I'm, I'm already disturbed. Are you serious? I'm so disturbed. <laughs> like, oh, it's... But you understand what I mean. I understand, I understand what I'm, you mean. I'm rather, self, listen, yeah. like I'm very you... selfish. I don't like to share. Same way I don't share myself, I don't expect myself to share you with somebody else. You're not sharing. Right. It's not. Uh, sharing means it's evolution yours Evolution and growth ends with the two of okay, us. Okay, so so if, if, your dude, if your dude liked someone else... Go be with them. It's that simple. Okay, let me give you Imagine, an example. Imagine, go. If Rihanna came to Kenya and told your dude, you're the only person I'd fuck outside ASAP, so let's do it. Easy. Go do what you need to do, but trust Arugia me, you're not coming back. Oh, yeah. Rihanna! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mariah, I know you're beautiful and everything, I could, but... I could care less. Are you serious? I swear to God. Once you step out that... Me, me I'd give up the love of my life to be with Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh my God, baby, I'm so sorry nah. that I have to do this. <laughs> Once you decide you want to be out, stay out. That's nah. just my point. Me, I understand what you're saying. It's just, I, I can't see myself into it. You know how you, someone can say, oh, I want to sell all my possessions and give it to the needy. Mm. I'd be like, like, I respect that. I, I just don't see myself yeah, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, bro, people change. You're going to meet people. Attraction doesn't end. Yeah. It's just the idea of monogamy is very confining. Like, it literally doesn't leave room for anything else. For growth and improvement. Yeah. And the, and two, <laughs> the two bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, I know, so right before we get into Checkpoint, and because uh, today we, yeah. we were discussing financial discipline or lack thereof, mm -hmm. is, can I talk about FN Mecca? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you guys think the FN stands for? Futuristic nigga. Uh, come on. Could be. <laughs> but then Less I wouldn't be. put them past Less it. Exactly. FN uh, Florida Water. What? Okay. Okay. 
No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. But but anyway, so mm. as a so FN um, FN Mecca is the first AI rapper. Hmm? I think it might mean first name Mecca. I don't could think be. So. Could be. Could be. It's definitely not first nigga Mecca. <laughs> I hope not. But it, who knows, yeah. bro? I wouldn't get it. Be. So anyway, so uh-huh. his uh, quick background is... Um, so FN Mecca signed a record deal with Capitol Records, mm-hmm. becoming the first digital artist to sign with a major label. 11 days later, the deal was terminated amidst calls from the character promoted gross stereotypes of black culture. Mm-hmm. And within the 11 days, the virtual rapper had a large digital presence with 10.3 million TikTok followers and uh, 222,000 Instagram followers. He was created by media company Factory New, which is co-founded by Anthony Martini That's and what Brandon FN Lee. Then, Factory New. Yes. FN Mecca. Found it. Factory yeah. New. Factory New Mecca. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So that's the thing. If you see there's a if you see the viral video, which was like a clip of the record, uh, the guy kind of looks like Takashi in a way. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, kind of like Takashi has a nose piercing, tattoos on the face, green hair, a fade. He's, he's like, he's actually like, you know, it mm-hmm. looks like, like Takashi, you know. Of all these new yeah, rappers. dressed like in, a, in an L, LV top, whatever, just the, like the whatevers. Yeah. And of course, from the rap, there was a lot of uh, the N-word. N-word, the N-word yeah. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah, what do you guys think? <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like probably that was just... Like corporations trying to like I don't know like mock black people, but not really? actually use like the mm-hmm. image. Why? Why would you say they were mocking? Because why would you create an AI rapper, and the first thing that you think to do? Because I saw another clip where mm-hmm. it's like, um, the police he, like he was on the floor yeah. and the police were on top of him and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Then suddenly your raps have the N word. I mean, it's very clear that this AI is white. No. Is it? No. Nope. It's not white. The AI rap is colored. colored folk. Yeah, it's I colored think regardless, folk. But, yeah. these particular events mm. are very sensitive to black people. So why would that be the first things that you decide to go with? You know, police. You but know. I, I, I see that in all the rapper videos yeah. I watch. White. Yeah, so I'm creating an artificial rapper. It's not a real rapper. Mm. And rap is so it's based off black. Yeah. So it's going to be based off black. I see the vision. Like, and it's, and it's dope. You know, Joe could get 10 million TikTok followers that's what for someone who doesn't exist. <laughs> it's like that's commendable. Crazy. I'd say that. Bro, and, and I'm sure they made uh-huh. crazy streams from yeah. the song. Because I'd imagine. Yeah. And then, I like, I see the vision from, like, a marketing, a corporate point of view. In it, but then mm. when you introduce, like, appropriating black culture, it exactly. becomes dicey. Because I wouldn't lie. Mm. If you look at FN, mm. I haven't looked at the company, mm. but maybe it's backed by white people and it's you just commercializing I mean. the culture. Mm. You get. Mm. So I feel like, yes, it's it's representative of the black community of rap, of hip-hop, of everything that's within pop culture within that space. Mm. Yeah. But then if it's for corporate or financial gain, mm. there's some lines you can't cross. Thank you. Um. Okay, honestly, my only thing is, mm-hmm. I would have loved for this to be a thing, and I don't think this is the last AI rapper or musician you're yeah. saying. Probably this a, was just a test to see like how exactly. And it's a bold it. step to take. It's a bold True. step. You know how like we're living in an age where for you to have a headline as a company, the first this and this to do that. Mm. And it's not coming from a point of oppression. Like Seattle, mm. the first Muslim something, the first black yeah. woman this. Mm. If it's the first this, label, it's the first label, label to do the ABCD board. from like a first of its kind, yeah. it's commendable to have that because there's mm. a lot of ideas that are within that space. But not all of them are big enough to, like, like become a first of its kind. Yeah. But then it becomes dicey with mm. what builds your idea. True. If you see that the team behind FN Mecca is like a team of seventeen white guys, would you feel iffy? Definitely. Yeah. So the thing is, I'm not putting it uh, past the fact that it could be white mm. executives in a boardroom yeah. who created this whole thing. True. Mm. But then um, the guy, hold up, the name. Uh, so Anthony Martini mm-hmm. is a black dude. Okay. Brandon, whatever, doesn't have much presence online. I wasn't able to see because mm-hmm. I checked. So I would be definitely offended. The first thing when I saw it, I was like, oh shit, mm-hmm. just a white person. In, even the group, I was like, yo, just another <laughs> yeah, chance for another... a white person to use the white <laughs> yeah. nigga. Yeah. You know, but yeah, mm-hmm. it's like must any chance to check a shot. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, so I wouldn't put it beyond 
past that. Yeah. yeah. But the depiction of the thing is actually what is in hip hop music. This is what I see in all the videos. This is mm. what I see online. This is actually what a modern black rapper sounds like, looks like, and moves like. Okay. True. So if I'm creating that, then what is it gonna look like? Mm. Like FN Maka. When when you read about cultural appropriation, like it's always dicey to know what's what's the black areas, what are the gray areas, mm. what are the white areas. Because yeah. it's like those conversations about white people having dreadlocks. There's someone who just wants to rock that hairstyle. Then there's someone who will make it about themselves. Mm. Mm. As I think, I want to feel like an African. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's always like different Nini's approaches it could take. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know. Let me not comment much because so, okay. I haven't read much on it. So if you check and it's black executives or black people behind it, does They're it change? They're pushing the culture forward and I'm all supporting <laughs> them. What I'm going to say is, yeah. if you're an AI rapper, we haven't yet established what race you are. So maybe don't say the N-word. Exactly. <laughs> maybe just but, have your rap. Okay, so uh, does, does, uh, does, it, does it change anything if the people who wrote and created this thing... It changes everything. It changes everything. It changes everything. So that's For allowed. Sure. Yeah. For so, sure. Okay, then why, why did Capitol Records... Uh, Nini, why, why, would, why would they cancel this deal? I think Public. controversy around... Exactly. Yeah, you know, that's... Or maybe they already made their mark, and even them cancelling is part of the strategy. The test, exactly. There you yeah. go. But yeah, so how? So what would the future of AI, AI rappers look like? I think they're not going to selling out holograms, selling <laughs> performing with holograms. No. Of course, probably. Guys yeah. are buying. Guys are buying virtual land. People are buying tickets to virtual events. Yes. So this, let me tell you, this metaverse thing, I do not understand it, but it's making strides. Yeah. And the sooner you just get into it. I'm not saying I'd invest your money and buy virtual land and show me. I have a total deal. <laughs> yeah. I don't have Wi-Fi. I can't show you. <laughs> Isn't that there's, there's someone who literally bought a house next to Snoop Dogg on Meta because of yeah. it's Snoop Dogg's house on the Metaverse? Yeah. Mm. Okay, this is what I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, jump on it. Read read uh, read as much as you can about yeah. it. But then don't don't be broke bro like we are and yeah. invest your money in it. Yeah. But when you have disposable don't... income. Take then a gamble. start to look. Yeah, take a gamble. Take a gamble. Yeah. Take a gamble. Let's see where it goes. Yeah. But the only thing I have a problem with is just NFTs, bro. Till to date. Like, <laughs> I, I, I love the whole blockchain <laughs> thing. I'm definitely sense, yeah. looking into crypto. Mm -hmm. NFTs, I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just mm -hmm. think I, I, I think I still prefer real ads. Mm. But that's a preference. Well, that, yeah. It has nothing to do with I how the system it works, works or if it's profitable, mm -hmm. if you can, you can make money. The blockchain makes complete sense. Yes. Like, as I don't even know what, know what to call it, like, as a thing. Yeah. Like, it makes complete sense. And then crypto kind of makes sense, you know, decentralized or whatever. Mm. Yeah. And then it's like, everyone has this picture, but you're the owner. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's why you lose me. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> someone, said, someone sent me a meme to saying that he, NFTs are like marriage, mm. where everyone gets to fuck your wife, but you're the one with the marriage <laughs> certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the only NFTs You're the owner of the certificate, but even guess Oh, you're saying your wife. wife. Yeah, <laughs> you own the marriage certificate. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone can fuck like, your wife. Fuck your wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My wife! <laughs> Evolution and growth. <laughs> Everyone is Evolution and growth. <laughs> Out me, out. But, but yeah, think about it. When you get into an extra relationship, when you get, about it, when you get into a relationship, yeah. then you we'll tell have us. <laughs> I'll tell you guys. HX is experiencing relationships the same way we experience wealth. <laughs> you're like, I think rich people should be taxed more. <laughs> <laughs> and then you make a billion, you're like, mm, hey, <laughs> start a foundation. Instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I'm at, yeah. <laughs> hey. But anyway, so shout out to this. I was, yo, as soon as I saw this, mm -hmm. I was like, this is disruptive. And I'm curious to see why this goes. Yeah. It's definitely coming back. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely Stronger coming back. for sure. It's coming back. Bro, guys who did, if you have a chance to do programming now mm. or coding all these things, anything tech, bro, get on it. Yeah, please, get on it. Please. Like the, it's, the options are so limitless. True. Tech bro, money, bro. Bro, now I'd be coding the next AI rap. <laughs> 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 did you see a video of this babe who created like a whole entire character? Mm. Out of Ed Sheeran and CG Nani having a baby, there's an AI. Okay, forgive my tech knowledge, but yeah. let, let's say there's an AI platform, mm -hmm. like a picture of Ed Sheeran and then a picture of like another musician, mm. and then fused them to have like what their baby would look like at 17, 18, mm. and then gave it a voice and like did like she records on a green screen. So you said Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran in an app, I can't, some white singer. Okay. So he, she was going for like a, a look. That like a not, dude or yeah, a, a dude, woman? A dude. So Ed Sheeran and, 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 and the dude, yeah. they had a so baby. So if you fuse yeah, faces, you know how yeah. Like, yeah. face of like, what would yeah. our kids look like? Mm -hmm. I put like myself and you, Alafu. Yeah. It's just a kid with like dreadlocks and a fade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then, then yeah. gave it a voice. They can speak. 
tuned the voice to like particular decibels. Oh, wow. yeah. So every time they speak in their own voice, it comes it comes out on the other end as their uh, voice. Yeah. And then even the mannerisms, the like Akifanyevi Mikono, they move. And created a whole TikTok page with this guy and gained followers. That's Humble. madness. You know, I think Tafari and Hadi were showing me this platform. Yeah. I think it's called The Journey or something. I'm not very sure if it's called The Journey. So you sign up on the platform, mm -hmm. you type out, you describe whatever you want, and yeah. it creates the image. Nine images, no. yeah. Yeah. So Nairobi, literally. Yeah, and a lot of the apps yeah. now online is done like that. Like, I could literally type type whatever. Yep. And it would create, um, it, would create it. Yeah. Poji even tried it and Crazy. put some like Nairobi apocalypse and they were like, oh yeah, like that's what Poji used. above KICC. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, bro. Like yeah, like alien invasion. Yeah. Like if you can, if you can get into coding now, do it. Mm. I'd suggest, but like, instead We're of going to church, need. start yeah. coding yeah. classes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! Food. But yo, yeah, so class. checkpoint. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it. So on checkpoint, we are discussing financial discipline or lack thereof. Yes. Mwas was giving a, a nice, yeah. beautiful example. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> like how excited you are. You know how like okay, so let me give you some background. Um, tonight, as we're in the gig economy, sometimes there's money, sometimes there's not. You know, mm -hmm. so sometimes I have money, sometimes I'm broke. But my financial are you decisions, broke now? right now, I would say I am not broke. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> but I would yeah. say I would I'd be better if I didn't make some decisions during August. You know, okay. yeah. August was a slow month for me, um, because Biashara stopped, but. It's always like me. I'm always like, do I have enough money for rent? And then whatever is left, yeah, if there's a plan, me I'm down. If there's a nice sneaker, mm -hmm. me I'm down. If I want to eat, like, gee, what? Buy it, I'm down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying this new thing this month where I put. I've calculated how much it costs for me to, you know, pay rent, utilities, nini, send money home, have pocket money, fuel, everything. Black tax. Yeah, yeah. Black tax. <laughs> Kapo, everything is there. Yeah. And then I've even put like an entertainment allowance for. When I meet these guys over the weekend. I'm curious, how much is the entertainment? So I can just tell you. <laughs> 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 it's a flop, yeah. How much is the entertainment? <laughs> I, I put 25 G's. For the That's month. Not bad. Yeah. Or one weekend. For the month. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> and that includes everything. Even if I take a short year on a date. Oh my God. <laughs> you played yourself. So this game can be a <laughs> you played yourself. Him zinga na changia punch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. But I, I, okay. But you know, so, so I've mm. put that and then I've put it all into one account. There's this account of mine that didn't have money. So I put it there, and then I've said for September, I'm only gonna use that account, and I want to see if I can get it to the end of the month. So whether I make money or not, I'm gonna use this account. Gotcha. If I do that for a month, two months, three months, uh, I'll have saved 40k. <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> yeah, but you, <laughs> but see, the problem is I was telling my friend like I don't know where my money goes, and it's like everything is there online. Just go yeah. check. Yeah. Because even the bank app I use, every time I send money somewhere, they usually have that place for reason for money. Yeah, I'm yeah. a description. Yeah, so you can always say, say rent yeah. mm. or like Gondwana or like. Mm. So when you're looking at your statement, you're like, hey, Gondwana six times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can yeah. tell yeah. how much. So it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So yeah, so me, I like fi I lack financial discipline. Mm. I'm trying to regain it. I want to get to a point where financial discipline isn't an issue. But then my, my dad was telling me, if you can't manage 30K, you'll never manage 300K, you'll true. never manage 3 million. That's so true. Start small. Yeah. You? Do you save? Yeah, but I don't know. I'm a believer of there's nothing like a financial discipline, eating discipline. You just need to be disciplined all through. Nah, it's not the same thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's a roundup. You, know I mean? you could be financially disciplined, mm. but if you really do, like, dig deep, it's just being able to say, Nisaba, even if I have 25 Gs to spend on whatever and whatever... Mm. Chucks, he calls me to go out. I'll simply just say, "Bede, they will come." She's she's going back. That's a lie. Yeah. No, okay, seriously. So, <laughs> okay, I you hear could you. Have, you could have a million shillings, and you could want to eat KFC every day. Yeah. It's as easy to just say, "Bede, no, let me just stock my yeah. fridge. I'll cook." But any small money you have, <laughs> let me tell you, enjoyment. You can solve your yeah, problems. Like, 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 <laughs> it makes sense on paper. <laughs> yeah. Practically, Until you know. yeah. but the first time from your friends, and you're like, "Yo, we're in Vasha. We're here for another three days. There's a bed. Just fuel and come." Bro, I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's I'm not old. gonna happen again. Because mine, mine is mostly formal. Yeah, mine is. <laughs> <laughs> See, Yours is discipline. Mostly formal. Okay, honestly, mm -hmm. personally, I don't have. I've never had financial discipline. Like I was saying, I've never known how to make money, mm. or how to even keep it, or how to multiply yeah. money. Like. I just literally survive because I'm the Lord. <laughs> 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 so, uh, and 
there's things I don't know if I need to necessarily, like necessarily, I don't know if I need to change. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I could literally have the last 3K and go get a pedicure. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. And it's the last 3K I have, but I'm like, what is the worst that could happen? Some I'm going to make some yeah. money, you know. But also, I realized I love expensive things, not in that sense. Yeah. You know, my expensive is still like, it's, mm-hmm. it's just kawaii, that's what I mean. Yeah. But I, I like good things, so. What yeah. I decided is I'm just gonna work for more money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna work for more money. You just have zero regrets. Yeah, you know I'm, a, like, I'm a zero regrets. You know how when you finish a transaction and then it says sent, then she, it shows you your balance. You're like, <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like, oh, like my guy for kicks. Sometimes I'm on Instagram. I'm like, ah, <laughs> and then I have a bill due. Like, let's say internet is due and there yeah. are kicks there. I'm like, ah, we'll just tether. <laughs> Literally. We'll tether, talks. but we'll look fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Too. Is there a mic today? There. There's a mic, yeah. Does anyone have anything to say about this financial Financial. Thing? Who's who's very financially disciplined? Who's the most disciplined? Yeah, yeah I like, like, tafari, I, like people I'm, with skills. Yeah, yeah. sure. Ah, bro, me, and, me, I just decided I'll just make more money. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I don't know how to yeah. hold myself back. Like, I could have the last 20K. If Mas <laughs> tells me we're going to Kajiado, I'm like, <laughs> how, much, how much is it being? And 15K. <laughs> I'm like, look at the the stories checks will have the most fun. <laughs> yeah. Then people think you're bowling. Then people yeah. think I'm bowling, but it's because ah. it's because me, I just live my life, and then mm-hmm. when the money is out, I'm like, how do I make more money? Yeah. If I need to call Moas to make more money, I'm gonna yeah. call Moas. But I'm not gonna hold bro. I have 10k. So I, I starve and I just have 10k. I'm have saving 10, 10k. You have 10k Kabza is in town. I know. In the house at in, what do you let mean? Let me save this money. No. I have 10k. Kabza. <laughs> do you know when am I gonna see Kabza again? <laughs> It makes sense. I mean, I'm big on memories, uh, bro. I, me, I don't play with those me things. Like you. Wait, 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 I, was, how much is it going to cost? 30k. Uh, how much do I have? 28k. 30, 30, 30. So I can just release a 2k. <laughs> <laughs> ah, next uh, much to a time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> By the beach, early morning. <laughs> you, have, you, have that, you have that photo of the wing on the, air, the, the airplane. <laughs> you have the photo of the wing. A lot of guys are like, hey, Chucks is living large. I know. And you're like, but my account is living small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't hold myself back. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I really want to yeah. do something, I'll do it. Me what I know, uh, I'll never go into debt. Yeah. For four fun times. Okay, depends on how much debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me, I'll go into 3K, 5K. Aye, yeah, let's 3K, go. 3K, 5K, exactly. <laughs> check for you. Not, it's just check. I'm not going 100K. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not no going points. 100K into debt. I have to have an for, iPhone. I'm uh, yeah, to, exactly. Know. But at bro, at Kabza is in town. My next oh, yeah. paycheck is in 10 days. <laughs> I can fully use a 5K. We are going. <laughs> And That's then I've thing. realized, because yeah. even on, like I've realized our friends don't know how to take no for an answer. Like on Friday, Pojo's calling me, mm. oh, let's go for a while. So I'm like, hey, bro, me, I'm Chini. Mm. There's some payment I was waiting for on Friday. It didn't come through. So it's like, ah, ukona a cab? I'm like, yeah, says ukona a cab. Drinks so, on me. Yeah, see you come. I'm <laughs> like, but you know that kudunda on someone's budget. Yeah, so you know, I When the alcohol is done and you're not yet drunk, you're just like. <laughs> 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 you can't say, and then they're like, yeah, what would you like a nap beer? You're like. I mean, um, <laughs> if, you're, if, you're if you say so, I mean, even if you say you won't, you what, did, what am I going to do? But, <laughs> but what, what you should probably ask prior, because uh-huh. these, are, these are like close yeah. friends. I can be like, yeah. sour, if I'm, I'm, if I'm spending on you, what are we drinking? Is that yeah. enough for both of us? Makes sense, Because yeah. also we drink a lot. <laughs> That's not a lie. Yeah. It's not a lie, so, bro. close friends, I'm always like, me, I've gone out, when I moved out in 2018, yeah. I remember like I had like 13K max in, at my account, and it was December. So Christmas was like in... It was just after Christmas. You know that period between 25th and 31st? All of you are just... When confused. you don't know what day it is, <laughs> who's where you're just... I'm car form, form, form. Yeah. So Alec, he calls me. That time, Jay's was there. And then he's like, yo, bro, ah, we're out. Come That's through. Juniper. At yeah. the time. Juniper, Apo, Nini, Wayaki, we're opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Opposite, yeah. So Alec is like, come through. I'm like, hey, bro, me, I've just finished moving. Mm. You know how... When you're moving, you realize you need things every day. Yeah. Mm. So you buy food and then you put a plate, you're like, ah, shit, I don't have spoons. <laughs> 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 you buy spoons, then you're yeah. like, I need to wash this plate. Ah, shit, I need to buy a scoring pad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was broke, I was broke. And then I knew this is 13K. It will issue out next week, bye. So I told Alex, I can't come through. And then my friend sent me cab fare. I was like, will this be enough for you to come and go back home? I was like, yeah. So I was at Jay's, mm. but I was drinking. The table was lit. You know, everyone has their carbona suppose. So, yeah. Yeah. so me, I'm drinking, but every time I reach for a bottle, you just feel that car. Because <laughs> you didn't like, contribute. Yeah. yeah, so it's yeah. like, yeah, like, you should talk. I was like, yeah, me too, woo. <laughs> yeah. But, but <laughs> <laughs> and then when Alex disappears for 20 minutes, you're like, do I continue? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think that's 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 mm. the thing about communication. Like mm. if you are friends, because I'm like if I need yeah. to go out and I'm, and I don't have the money, I'll be like, yo, are you buying? Mm. Sour, because me I don't have money to spend. But yeah. I'll still go out. Yeah. If I completely don't have the money, uh, no one is going out. I'll stay home. Yeah. But if my friends are having a good time and I can genuinely have yeah. a good time with them without inconveniencing them or without me dying, <laughs> being broke, bro, I've been broke my whole <laughs> life. I didn't die. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true though. Yeah. You know, like some of the some of the worst. Okay, not even worst because in hindsight they're not worst. Mm. Some of I've made some crazy decisions when I didn't have the money to, and I just mm. made them, and I'm yeah. I'm I'm okay. I'm <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> I've uh, like okay. So the house I used to stay in mm-hmm. before the house I stay in now. Mm. I remember it was a new building around the area where I was staying because uh, this is KU now. Um, when it was finished <laughs> and there was like. The, is it called what house? They normally finish one house, mm. a showroom. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is, is, yeah, is, is, that one, yeah, showhouse. Show yeah. So when when that was ready, I went and saw it. It was so beautiful. I'm like, this is the one I want. The show house. <laughs> I'm yeah, serious. Going to move in with a suitcase. <laughs> I, like I want the show house. They were like, so I think mm-hmm. everything else will be done in a, in um in, 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 in like a week's time. I'm mm-hmm. like, how much is the rent? Mm-hmm. Um, I think the rent of the time was 15k. Mm-hmm. So one month deposit, that's 30k. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, I think I had Steam like 8k in a mimi. <laughs> I gave the guy 8k in Kamambe in I swear, I didn't even have a job. I didn't even know I was gonna get 15k that's, that's every month. Proper manifesting promax. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> and and, uh, and of the month, mm-hmm. I moved in. That's dope. Something even with the house I stayed. I didn't have the money. That's actually a beautiful story. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yo, nah, so it's, I, I, I don't I, know. I feel like me, I'm just probably I'm just old. Like I feel I'm at a point where imagine mm-hmm. if I don't have, I will not force myself mm. to, you understand like yeah, even don't like force. even no, we are not forcing we are forcing but not too much <laughs> at the point of, okay let's say I have 20 I, uh. I need 30 just to do whatever and I have 25 and I see 5 at I'll even have to fully imagine I think um yeah I'm just like no it's not that it's not there it's fine but you know that that gratification you get like even me when I moved into that house I didn't have the next month next month's rent yeah but I was just like happy I'm in my house. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to work. And then my dad gave me this advice before I moved. He said, mm. if you can save up a year's worth of rent, save it up so that when you move, you buy everything at once. Mm. So me, when I, when I moved out, I furnished my whole house in like one week. Wow. You, you so then I, yeah, I moved into a house that had everything. And my dad was like, you see, that's way better than you move out with a bed. Yeah. And then, so I mean, if, sa- if the circumstance, <laughs> if the circumstance pushes Sad. you, definitely, yes. Yeah. But if you have some leeway of staying somewhere, yeah. so when yeah. I bought everything, I was so happy. Like, I had a fridge without food, but it was my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was putting glasses of water in there. I'm like, this water is going to be cold. Because <laughs> it's my fridge. I hear you, bro. You know, I was, I I was using you. the microwave to make tea because, you know, like, yeah. when I used to do that at home, my dad was yeah, like, ah, yeah. una maliza yeah. steam. And then you put it on the gas. Una maliza gas. Yeah. Did you to me a boiler or whatever? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'll make tea in the microwave because it's my fucking microwave. Yeah. yeah. No one can take Bro, it. Bro, I hear you. Yeah. Like, even where I stay now, so when, I was, when I'm looking to move, um, at some point, because I've, I've been saying I'm moving, but I, yeah. I hadn't really gotten time Except to look for a house. <laughs> but yeah. look, you guys are moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, uh-huh. So... Um, eventually, I get a link from a friend, and the link is the apartment blocks. Because mm. there's apartments and there, standalones. Mm. Block of bits! What up, brother? Good, Good to see you, man. Mm. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have a view at the apartment. Mm-hmm. That's th- I didn't even know there was, like, villas or standalones yeah. in the property. I no clue. Mm. So I get there. The caretaker, the caretaker is like, I'll be there in a few minutes so you can just chill for me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm looking at the place. I'm like, oh, shit, this, this, these houses are nice. Mm-hmm. So one of the house I actually stay in now mm-hmm. was uh, an occupant. Someone had just moved in. So, so I'm just going to check the house as I wait for the caretaker to go mm-hmm. look at the apartments. Bro, I went to the house. Juni Kangalia loved it. I moved in. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't even look at the apartments? No, I didn't. I swear <laughs> I didn't go to the apartments that day. Yeah. And the price range was 
so huge mm. between what I had to spend mm. and this house, but because I really wanted it, mm. I was like, do you know what? I remember calling Tefari, I'm like, yo, me, I'm moving. He's <laughs> like, it's like, where? So I'm like, I'll, I'll take you. Well, I remember picking yeah. a rush and Tefari. Mm -hmm. Then we drive, we go, we figure, I'm like, yeah, this is where I'm moving to. They're like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, how, you, how are you going to afford this? I'm like, I don't know I'm going to afford it, but I, but I, I feel like I really yeah. want to live in this house. <laughs> I just saw it. I want to live in this house. <laughs> Manifesting! <laughs> and, yeah. and I moved in and I still live That's there. That's another beautiful story. I'm not dying. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, <laughs> speaking of this, before but don't clean. listen to our financial yeah. ideas. Bro, we should put that disclaimer. We are not financial <laughs> analysts. We are just niggas who are lucky. <laughs> and we make stupid lucky. decisions. Let me tell but you, yeah. The gratification, the mm. satisfaction that comes is with doing yeah. what you really want to do. Let me tell you, if it worked out for your first house, yeah. this house, <laughs> even the next one. Even the next one you sent me on Instagram DMs. Hey! You're like, bro, look at this house. <laughs> me even ask Chaxi, are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very beautiful house. In a very nice neighborhood. And then I'm like, six-figure rent. Bro, are you mad? <laughs> He's like, but just imagine living here. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine paying for it, though. <laughs> Then this nigga oh in Sagana was trying to convince everyone to move anything. <laughs> but bro, you can have your own wing. I love that. all this guy. It's such a big house. We move in. If we move in together, the rent is going to be so cheap. And we'll yeah. be so comfortable. We could literally be in the same wing, the same house, and we, we, know, we don't even see each other. Uh, I'm like, and we'll be in such a nice neighborhood, close mm -hmm. to the... Anyway, anyway, you all, all so snaked me, so I've not weekend. moved in. <laughs> Megan Levy, Chaxi. I can't say hi to new babes every year. <laughs> it's simple. I'll be like, hey, Marion. No, it's not Marion, it's Marion. Marion was the other one. <laughs> oh, my God. My house is beautiful, oh. though. Anyway. <laughs> to close this off. Yeah, yes. This weekend was beautiful for me and Famo. Because yeah. my, my, my bro bought a new car. His oh, first car. Wow. Very beautiful. Oh, my bro, my, when I call him my bro, is my... Tightest cousin, okay. we grew up together. Mm. So see, I was helping him now go finalize on the whatever's Nanini, and then we drove it. Such a beautiful car. His first car, I told him, has a panoramic sunroof. Wow. I was like, you're not going down from here now. Oh, yeah, I was like, now it's it's that way. But I remember when he was, we were, we were, we were, we were having a shoto because we drink to our achievements and lack thereof. <laughs> but we yeah. have to make a company by the home say to try by my the eleven the nine bob juice elevens in quite expensive. Shout out to him. Yeah. So then I told him like the amount <laughs> Well we should I say shilling in Billy Comai. Because now if you're buying in bulk, you get two extra sizes and I'm gonna preach your upper yeah. savings. Yeah. But with I told him, like look at us, five years ago we couldn't afford A B C D. Mm. Then now we're making these moves. And then three now there's a lot of security within your life and everything. So I told him, imagine ten years from now. Like the way right now, um, I, we can go eat somewhere and then I pick up the bill or he picks up the bill and we won't worry about who's yeah, sending who money. Yeah. So we came up with a new toast mm. when you're drinking and said we want to live a life where we don't care who's, who's paid for it, but it's been paid for. Mm. So we are raising our glasses. It's three, it's three words. Do not. That dating site. Yeah. That's our way out. <laughs> So that, that, you want to leave, you trust without caring who paid for it. Exactly. So you're like, I was, he was repeating after me, I was like, how jalipia? He's like, si jalipia. Na mi si jalipia, la fako like, how jalipia? And then we toast with, imelipia. And then we drink, yeah. And that's, we said that's going to be our motto it. moving forward. I love it. If we find ourselves in Cape Town five years from now, I'm like, hey, bro, we, are, we woke up in a villa, he's like, yeah, I've sorted mm. it. And then tomorrow I'm like, hey, I've gotten a boat, let's go to the waters mm. and what, yeah. I couldn't have to me at 30k, he bought me on 20. I love it. Kill him, say, yeah. I love it. I, like I love so, it. Ideally, when you have a job, you have but the most important thing is to have a job. True. True. Whew. Luck that there. That was though. deep. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. nice. I like that. I yeah. like that. Yeah. But, 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 but yo, for real though, if you're able to save, do it. You know, mm. yeah, even me, I'm struggling to save, I'm trying, but... <laughs> Me My decisions, bro. <laughs> this money me, me is, this money pedis are expensive. Huh? I saved. I saved. You know, yeah. I say I'm saving for a rainy day, and then COVID came, and then it rained. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I went. I can do four and a half months yeah. without your account having any in input. Jeez. I was just like a new month. I yeah. got two savings, rent. Yeah. A new month, rent, utilities, bro. Hey, yeah. and then when that first check checked in. Me, I remember me, I just went all out. I was going to be in the RP. <laughs> you were like, I'm like, spending money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, not my money, but new money. Yeah, new money. Yeah. But, yo, because I also saved, like, mm -hmm. I had such discipline in saving yeah. last year. I saved 
Then um, early this year, got into an accident. Lord, yeah. All my savings went. Boom. Like all my savings went into the accident. This, Fixing this, this damn this, big yeah. car for no reason. <laughs> There's nothing as painful. Can as, you imagine? As spending your money. Bro, you are mine, bro. <laughs> you know, like I had, I had such discipline in saving yeah. that I didn't, I completely forgot I had a savings account, but right. I was still saving every, almost every week. Like, wow. Any money that I received, mm-hmm. I'd send some of it to my savings. At a kind of 500 bob, I'd mm-hmm. send even if it's 200 bob. Like, what? I had such discipline. And then all of it literally went overnight. Boom. And you know the thing, when that happens, overnight. it either makes you a better saver or it makes yeah. you a... Ah! Yeah. Now I'm just like, hi. <laughs> now, now, now I'm just like, hi, bruh. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Anuri, man. So Anuri has a new film on Netflix called uh, Look Both Ways. Yep. That's uh, She directed it. I watched it. Beautiful story. Uh, me, uh, personally, I'm big on stories only. Mm-hmm. Like cinematography, Nini, um, of course, it's a Hollywood movie. Yeah. Everything is really done well. But I love the story. Basic story is um, two friends in campus um, mm-hmm. finish uni. Last day <laughs> of campus. Who could relate? I got for two friends of campus. Abandon us here. Shuki Shapo. Sibanta always finishes. Oh my god! I just can't forget. I can't be a uncle. Abandon you. The funniest thing is when you're in your uni, when you're in Malaysia, when you're in Dropout. Go up. Anyway, all of us on the podcast now. So they finish. Last day of uni, um, one, one, one of the friends um, ends up having sex with a dude, mm-hmm. right? Then, on, um, so then she starts having symptoms or whatever. whatever. The yeah. friend is like, you need to test. So the plan was after uni, they were going to go to LA and uh, pursue their dreams. So when she tests, now that's where the story begins, Missouri, because mm-hmm. there's two outcomes. There's a, one outcome, she's not pregnant, they're moving to LA. Mm-hmm. The other outcome is she's pregnant, now she has to go back home to her friend, uh, not to her family, like and so. shelf the LA dream until she's able to, and that's the rest of the story, go watch it. It's a beautiful yeah, story, yeah. I started, I started, but I, I think I watched it too late in Liam Kakama. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you start a movie at 11, you know it's yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> but you're like, and then you look at Netflix and it's just one hour for two <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'll do it. Let me. Yeah. Out, yeah. But, but that's, that's basically the yeah. I, I love the storyline. It's, it's, it's good stories. Yeah, and the beautiful thing is, check it out. both outcomes eventually... Yeah. Don't spoil it. Suck spoil yeah. it. Yeah, but ni katu venu kwa nasama. Ukufi, eventually. Yeah. Ukufi. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not gonna <laughs> die. Everything works out. Everything still works yeah. out. Uh... So, guys are surprised mm-hmm. because Nation did an article. Tugi, we see you. I love you. We see you. Love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, man. Uh-huh. At least me see FN Mecca. I can use that word. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, FN Mega. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've given up the location. <laughs> FN Mega. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Anyway, yeah, you'll blip it. Apple will blip it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. guys online are surprised because they saw riders mm-hmm. for African artists. Have you seen how surprised guys are? Yeah. Everyone is doing the math. I'm like, how much? I thought, wait, yeah. it wasn't common knowledge that artists have riders. Like a no, technical people rider thought, people thought for tech they specifics have... and then a hospitality rider for how they prefer to be treated. I think in the entertainment industry, it's very clear. But now, like, if... You, ha- you don't have that visibility. You don't have that talk with anyone. Mm. Could you like, oh. Many yeah, people actually, you know. Yeah. But it's crazy. You know, it would be shocking to anyone. Because you'd think like, oh, this guy gets paid this much, so he sorts out this much. No. It's no. like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> this guy gets paid this yeah. much, and then... Yeah. Yeah. But that's crazy, because we've been talking about Banner Boy, mm. and uh, even talk- we, we were literally say there's no way mm. Banner is not the most paid or the most yeah. expensive African artist. Yeah, and then, so Nation has some figures... Um, I mean, I wouldn't doubt these figures. This yeah. makes sense for... Dog, have you seen... Umsa na funga show, bro? That nigga is headlining. I saw like a damn video. And then all of them... He's killing it. And he's killing it. He's telling guys, shy. And they they're just like... Now, oh in there, God. there's someone who's made a bad financial decision, but it's Banner Boy. But it's Banner Boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's me and Mars. <laughs> yeah. Tickets are for 5K. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I'm like, Mars, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to As long as I have a full tank in my car, I can move around. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being kicked out, and a few neighbors are like, what happened? Bro, I went to see Banner Boy. They're like, shit. <laughs> nah. You're homeless, but you have memories. <laughs> 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 anyway, so... Uh, so let's go through this quickly, right? Mm-hmm. I did highlight a few things. 
Um, okay. So before, before right, right before we get into riders, mm-hmm. Forbes put out this thing that I want to read. So the playlist, this mm-hmm. is on Forbes. Africa's top 20 musicians. Mm-hmm. Guess how many are Kenyans? Hmm. How many Kenyan musicians are in the list of Africa's top 20? Two. So, hmm? Two? Two. One. Africa's top 20 musicians and you think there's Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Forbes. <laughs> Saudi, are not there? I'm sure. Money, bro. Like, are you guys serious? <laughs> <laughs> ah no, I'm not. Like, I'm, not system, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying this like in a bad light, but I'm yeah. like we're privy to how much they make and what other guys make. There's yeah. no way they're top twenty. Yeah. <laughs> no, I okay, mean, it's sense. a sad truth, it's but fact, Saudi yeah. is yeah. Saudi is not oh. top twenty, and yeah. they're probably. I think Saudi is definitely the most paid Kenyan act, you know. More but also, yeah. it's four guys. Because Saudi is many people, mm. for, you know. The four but. guys are the guys mm. behind Saudi who make music: Bien, Chimano, Savara, and Fancy Fingers. Mm. But Saudi is a big team. Yeah. yeah. So, how much does Saudi charge? Like 2M, two, 2 point something now? Mm. Probably. So like a 3, that's in $30,000. Like Depending on who. Corporate, okay. Nini. You know what I mean? Mm. But anyway, so, uh, we're not going to dwell, dwell on it. I'm just going to give you the names. And then, um, we go You're back starting into... from Chini Amaju. Start from the bottom. I don't think this is in any oh, order. Okay. But mm. also, playlist. Also, this is... Ah, this is also streams. Okay, start from so the So, Kidjo then. is... Uh, Kidjo... Angelique is Apple number one. Spotify mm-hmm. monthly listeners, no, there's no way she's number one. This is... So I was like, what, Angelique? No, she's not. Oh, this is the bottom. I'm beginning, yeah. Okay. So Angelique. Then there's uh, Tiwa Savage. Mm-hmm. Bra, so I'm going to put a list before you scroll leave. Then there's uh, Davido. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, Master KG. Who has a bang, bro? He has the a, new one. Uh, the, the one. The one, the the one, one that does that dancing. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Ah, that's nice. I've seen it. Bro, this is taking the world by storm again. So, Master KG, shout out to his new band. Uh-huh. Uh, then there's Major League. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the new balcony, balcony mix is dope. Then there's Nasty C. Uh-huh. Then... Um, it's already three South Africans. Imagine. Three South Africans. Yeah. Nasty C is there... Then there's uh, my, the Princess of Africa. Who the hell are you? What's your name? Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Then there's Whiskey. Mm-hmm. Then uh, there is uh, oh, Ayola Oladapo. Mariah might know who that is. I have no idea. Is that the name? That's the stage name. Then there's Barna Boy. Mm-hmm. Then there's Revani. Then there's Diamond. Chibudi. 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 Then there's Fali Pupa. Nice. There's Ah, Pori. Oh, for ah, we yeah, love Pori. Nice. Pori okay. Pori is my Porisa. Then there's uh, Molapo. Then there's Mr. Easy, still. Nice. Mm-hmm. Then there's To Face Idibia. As it's as basically Western probably South as, Africa. Probably as much money <laughs> as babies. Mm-hmm. Then there's Kaspar Novest. Then there's Lebo M. Uh, then there's Black Coffee, of course. Mm. That's it. So it's SA, it's and SA Nigeria, West Africa and, and Southern Africa. Africa. And then from East, we have uh, Rivani. Rivani and Diamond. Okay. Anyway, so into the riders. Mm-hmm. Um, a few things we picked out. Of course, I've heard of crazy riders. Mm-hmm. Same. I don't know which is the craziest you've had. Do you Mariah. remember? 900 times. I think, I think that's the craziest rider I've ever had. <laughs> what did she ask for? She showers Suju with water from Suju where I was like... Please. How do they put it in the taps? Thank you. <laughs> they, Thank buy, you. they buy a new tank. The room buy, has yeah. to be sudri all white as in... That's fine. That's doable. No. That's doable, yeah. Even though, bro, it's Hollywood. Yeah. It's just some sheets and some paint. Yeah. Nah, it's Hollywood. This is wild. So according the to... The water especially. The water, awesome. that's a wild claim. But maybe it's also for PR. Yeah, it's also, yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, so according to the article, like Justin Timberlake's, uh, Timberlake requests uh, doorknobs disinfected every two hours. Just a clean dude. Okay. This is not absurd. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beyonce demands a dressing room is kept at 78 degrees with heavily seasoned chicken legs. Chicken legs. <laughs> I mean, I fucks with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then Anthony Hamilton was recently in Kenya. Mm-hmm. You guys saw that. Um, he had a team of six people. That included a manager, videographer, mm-hmm. photographer, among mm-hmm. other associates. His demand, uh, three black SUVs. This is normal. That's, mm-hmm. that's um, uh, three bodyguards in uh, every SUV, and there had to be a bottle of Hennessy VSOP cognac or a Macallan Mac- whiskey, mm-hmm. four non-alcoholic drinks, 24 bottles of water, specifically Keringet. 
<laughs> uh, then, of course, he flew on a first, um, mm. first class ticket first. and he was booked in Sankara. The only thing is he had to be booked on the top floor and no one had to have access, access. To, he, to the floor except him and his team. Makes okay. sense. Makes sense. Mm. So Davido was supposed to perform. Mm -hmm. They got some influencers to tease. Uh -huh. Remember, we spoke about it, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it didn't happen because his performance fee is uh, 35 million Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. hmm. And also, remember that he only flies private. Yeah. So he, fly, he flies in either of his, his billionaire shirts. dad's private jets, mm -hmm. a Bombardier Global Express, 6,000 worth, $62 million. Mm. Or mm -hmm. another um, 605 private jet worth $35 million. Mm -hmm. But this is how they are, that's they are the that's around. the Uber Chap Chap. You know Uber Chap Chap. <laughs> the five million dollars. <laughs> Love it. Mm -hmm. Uh so he travels with a, a like a group of nineteen people. Mm -hmm. So he, but his jet has capacity. Yeah. No, the jets have nineteen and twelve respectively. Mm -hmm. But then he travels with fifteen to eighteen people. Uh, that is um, f five Eugene. people who are band members, three bodyguards or more. His lawyer and manager. <laughs> I don't know why the lawyer has to travel oh, anywhere. Israel. I'm, I'm why? <laughs> Uh, but also, uh -huh. aside that, uh, definitely stays in uh, four star and above. And uh, of course, you have to, again, exclusivity. They're That's, saying okay. in his visit in 2018, they stayed at Tribe Hotel mm -hmm. yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a suite that they had to pay 35K every night. Mm -hmm. That's just for the accommodation. Yeah. Yes. Then now we get into Banner Boy. But even 35k a night. No, me, I'm like, that's... From someone you've paid 35 million. Yeah. <laughs> that's... Bro, so I'm just like, you know. So it does, like, and this is how they live. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm, I'm going to come to perform. And guys are, guys are paying for this. That's why I'm traveling all over the world and I'm yeah. And busy. So if yeah. you can't afford it, it's cool. Come see me in New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So Banabo is where now everyone was uh, surprised. Mm -hmm. So Banabo's fee is apparently 59 million. Um, well, like well deserved, bro. Mm -hmm. 59 million. Yeah. Then, of course, he uh, flies private mm -hmm. in a 13 seater Challenger jet. But then he's uh, so he travels with management and close friends. But then his band and whoever have to travel like on commercial planes. But of course, you book them business, uh, business class. Yeah. Uh, three SUVs, which is fine. He stays in a four or five star hotel. The hotel should have a reserved smoking executive suite. Yeah, he Not smokes surprised. a lot of weed. Yeah. Yeah. Two junior suites, <laughs> one deluxe king room and six whatever. The room should have a green room in which he and his crew can relax when not performing. The green room should be exclusive and also having a smoking chamber. Yeah. These motherfuckers, all they do is smoke, bro. Yeah, Yeah. so anyway, that's part of it. Uh, wait, so the meals three times a day, mm. ten rooms, uh, jollof rice, plantain, <laughs> full options of fried fish, yeah. siba, salmon... Chicken, fried yam, seafood, and salad should be in their menu. Yeah. Then they should be his dressing room. Dressing room should at least have twelve bottles of steel and carbonated spring water. Eight ginger ale, six sprite, six Pepsi vod, vod, sodas, fresh uh, grapes, strawberries, pineapples, mangoes, watermelons, bottles of uh, whatever champagne, Hennessy XO, Jack Daniel's whiskey, white wine. Uh, six black face towels <laughs> and four black <laughs> bath towels. Ah, black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is uh, like his rider. You know, if you have dark colored towels, you need to be a better human being. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to no. know? <laughs> but Bana is healthy. Clearly, yeah. all those fruits. And a lot of water. Yeah. It, yeah. And a lot of smoking marijuana. That's, yeah. a, that's yeah. a clean dude. You know Remember what I mean? By that time, Nani, dollar sign was in Kenya and then he was smoking at the hotel. And then someone tagged DCI on Twitter. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys never saw that? No, I never saw no. it. I never saw it. Ah, I'll look for it. I'll I don't think I was that active on Twitter anyway. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so Diamond's fee now is has shot from 8.3 million to 12 million. Mm -hmm. I think nice. well deserved as well. And also flies private. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He bought a plane. Makes I think sense. he bought a plane. Yeah. yeah. And so he's, he also said he bought a chopper. And then someone asked him why he's buying a lot of planes. He's like, Wasafi Airlines soon coming. I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Probably, yeah. That's what it is. Boss moves, yeah. Did Bashar, you, yeah. Do you think celebrities buy exp expensive things with bad finances just for the hype? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, no. I, I, yeah, because how many guys, you know, suddenly, oh, surgery, filing for bankruptcy, your things are being mm. repoed. Uh, most of the times when they are saying filing for bankruptcy, most of them. No, even boxes. things being repoed. But you see, like the same way Chakri True. moved into those two houses. <laughs> yeah, maybe no, maybe Banner Boy is oh. like, this plane is 100 million shillings, I have 98. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, we fuliza. We fuliza to say we fuliza to case someone else fuliza's 20 turned it True. But you know, if you've worked with an artist like especially when they're at their prime because a lot of the money comes from bookings, yeah. which is something else when we get because DJ Khaled's album is next, which is yeah. what I want to understand how he makes his money. <laughs> because most of so an artist loses money each time they step in studio. They don't you don't make money by recording music. Yeah. You lose money by recording music. Yeah. So a lot of the money comes from the brand you build, so you, the touring, touring is where they make most of their money. That's yeah. why they have such crazy uh, schedules, but then you do what you need to do. Yeah. So you make most of your money on road, then they have endorsements, endorsements. and now business ventures. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, the most successful ones financially or the ones who've made the most money is from business, not even from yeah. music, you know. True. Um, so I don't see DJ Khaled performing as much, but he has a lot of albums, so we'll talk about that. But anyway, <laughs> so... Uh-huh. Uh, if you've worked closely with an artist who, who is at their prime and they, they have a lot of bookings, you realize how quick that money comes. So it's very possible to find yourself in that position where you're spending. Because yeah. I'm like, I have 10 it's more shows coming up this month. Yeah, I'll make so X amount, yeah. am, amount of money. I have this endorsement I'm signing next month. Like, mm. m- money starts, when you're successful, like, when you get to a brand level, mm. you, you start to see yeah. a lot of money. So it's very possible you could live in a... It doesn't look like the tap is gonna go dry. Yeah, anytime yeah. soon. Makes sense. Yeah, true. Okay. So yeah, were you guys surprised with the riders? No. Me, I think they make sense. Same. Because what is tonic water after you pay yeah, my? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like no banana, no six Pepsi's, no. Let's do four. <laughs> four, t- four black yeah, towels. Yeah. Even the there's SUVs, nothing extravagant. Like everything it's sounds, quite yeah. on brand. But a lot of the backstage I've seen, especially for like su- successful musicians, mm-hmm. uh, all those alcohols zubakituko. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then, when when Aleki booked Nani, <laughs> to Lebron. To Lebron, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his alcohol was kept in my car. At you, just keep this safe. He's gonna come for it. Then I saw his three SUVs leaving. <laughs> and then I asked. Alex, really? so <laughs> will you call him? I call like Z. <laughs> <laughs> we have bottles not. now for the night. Yeah, <laughs> Me, eh, the amount of alcohol you've just drank like backstage because they leave, they leave a lot there, of yeah. a lot of the alcohol there. Yeah. And then again, okay. it's, it's showbiz. Showbiz, yeah. Even if you're not, you're not gonna use the black towels. Yeah, is this nice for people? <laughs> yeah, like, no. Why does he need black towels? <laughs> yeah, so Maybe that's the secret between Banner Boy and his housekeeper. Oh, <laughs> like, give me white towels. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> that is just for PR. <laughs> What's brand? It's true though. Yeah. But yeah, so artists actually have riders. The technical one, of course, is this is what I need on stage. This yeah. is the type of piano my pianist will play with. This yeah. is what I need. And then the hospitality one is this is what me and my boys like to eat and eat. drink. So we'd like for it to be available and part of their performance fee does not cater for their rider their yeah. rider is paid separately their travel is separate their yeah. accommodation is separate and the fee they charge is separate so all those it factors all be. those costs is why we never have any A-list artists performing in Kenya because it's too expensive yeah. I saw Alex do the, the, um, the breakdown of it would cost like 350M to do a Banner Boy show in Nairobi. A proper Just to, Banner Boy show, yeah. To do a show. Yeah. So 350M, if you think about how much money is within the event industry in Kenya, mm. it's impossible mm. to get it's that. Like, yeah, unless Joho pulls a Chris Brown again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, DJ Khaled, what did you guys think about the album? Have you heard it? I haven't it? listened to it, to be honest. I've had, okay. I've had I three songs. Yeah. I, I had to had God Did, the album itself, because when you put... When you put Rick Ross, Jay Z, and Wayne on one track, that's the that's the song you begin with. Yeah, I have to. Me, (laughs) DJ Khaled's album is not that album. I say, I have to play top to bottom. You know, (laughs) 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 I will listen to it one day. But I had like the the songs that got Chocha online. I listened to them. Okay, God did was amazing. God did go. Like how this is what between you and Jay Z, who's 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 the true God? Between me and Hov, mm. uh, Hov, bro. Hov. <laughs> so you're God. I give it to Hov. (Laughs) I'm the deputy. deputy lord. Oh my gosh, bro! Like how? How is Hov at 52 years mm. still the best rapper? <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense. Think about it. Yeah. Like, the younger musicians or the younger rappers should be having the biggest verses. Yeah. That's how it works. That verse went on. Bro, is it like and 80 bars? And on. So, and the on. song is eight, eight minutes. Hov yeah. gets on like at two minutes and around 40 seconds. Mm-hmm. And he raps <laughs> all through the verse. <laughs> Me, you know, hmm? I was thinking, I was all through the rest end. of it, and then he's not even 80 rapping. bars, 80 plus he's, something. It feels bars. like he's talking Just sometimes, talking, even yeah. in the videos, like <laughs> half dead. <laughs> 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 oh my god, and then there were, the, the engineer, I don't know how music works, which is not something I should say at Snowball Studios. But <laughs> 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 the guy was dropping the ad libs for Hove, yeah, for Rick Ross, huh? Mm. When he's saying things, gee, 
It's, 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 still him. it's him. It's him. Me yeah. that was recross. Huh. Me that was recross. Doing what? Doing the huh. It's him. No, that's how. That's how. Recross did ah. his own ad libs. How did his own. I think I listened to them on my. Did I tell you guys about fake AirPods and then yeah. I returned? Yeah. Them. <laughs> yeah. And then I put a tweet like, why does everyone sound like Trio Mio? Trio Mio means my cousin. How did? Yo, but if you haven't oh. had it. If you haven't had it, yeah, please get a good earpiece or a good speaker. Just listen, listen no, just play it. No, play it even on it 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 on yeah, and then, as leaving, and then even a bunch of times, get the references, whatever you don't understand. Mm. Try Google is your friend, but Hov, my goodness, it's just dope how he can keep goodness. saying how he's sold cocaine and he turned that money into a business. Mm. And so, nothing. <laughs> so it's like even when he begins, yeah. he's like, "God forgive me for the stuff." So God, like. Yeah. He's, I forgave him already. So, so <laughs> you asked. That is your answer, anyway. So <laughs> that is like how you package that into champagne. He's talking mm. about business. How many yeah. billionaires have come out of Hobbes Crib? Mm. It's him, yeah, and Re. No, yeah, yeah, and, and Brown is also a billionaire and so is a rock four. boy. Yeah. I saw someone's tweet, like he said, it's funny how Rick Ross and Jay Z, they both rap about music, but Rick Ross makes you feel rich and Jay Z stunts on you. I like then I like how the, how Hov stands. He yeah. he stands like Nashinsky. Yeah. No. <laughs> like it's nice to listen to. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, I feel a new snado. Like remember like that time Akina Tony on Savage was doing those things for holding stacks today, and then yeah, yeah. Jesus then was like we don't call that money over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. On on four forty four. Yeah, I see yeah. you holding money to your ear. There's a disconnect. We, we don't, don't call, call that money, money over here. here. Bro, yeah. Imagine if you say Bruno gonna meet up. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like even even in this verse, he raps yeah. and then he's like, "Oh shit, that's my passion talk." Then he's now he goes back yeah. to give you gems now wisdom. Yo, it's everything. It's mm. it's 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 um, uh, what is it called? It's encouragement. It's mm. motivation. It's reality. Mm. It's many things in one. Because it's like eighty plus bars. Yeah. Wow. It's and sick. then it just then the fact that, that I think sick. he doesn't write his rhymes. He just freestyles. Yeah. yeah, he had the right. Yeah. That, yeah, you've seen this. There's compilations of him in studio when yeah, he has the beat for the first time and comes right. up with buses. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, crazy. bro. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Thinking, every th- but mm-hmm. think of yourself as the engineer or producer when Hov is in studio. How do you tell him you're not feeling that way? <laughs> 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 you know, you're like, Hov, I think you can do better, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you do your job? No, <laughs> yeah, I'm putting this laptop aside here. Yeah. I want you guys to tell yeah. me how DJ Khaled makes money. I'm serious from music. See, God. <laughs> God, <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> no, for real though. But also, the person who up to date does not believe in DJ Khaled is amazing because we still keep getting music. Facts. Like Khaled actually feels like people don't believe in him Bro, till now. Do you know how crazy that is? There's this guy like for you, you've seen the names on the album. I said, yeah. you remember when I sent the thing the, on the group? I'm the sure you guys have seen it. Yeah. Now, but you know, it's crazy it. when you start seeing featuring. A list, A list, A list, featuring yeah. A list, A list, A list, featuring Ross. Nani, fi, yani, there's no one on that album. Yeah, like, there is not a list who's not like yeah. pulling their weight proper. Exactly. Yeah. And think about how all these contacts, all this fun. And you know, for you to have narrowed down to those, let's say there are what twenty artists. Twenty one. I'm gonna tell you just now. Twenty one. For you to narrow down to those twenty one, how many phone calls did you make? How many did guys you see, did you have to cut out? You said that you almost jumped to a fence here. Bryson that was Tiller. a lie. Yeah. No, it's unless, true. Unless Bryson Tiller lives in a like, like pavement. <laughs> no, there's no idea. Kali is jumping a fence. Apparently, okay. So the jumping thing, the idea was there. The, oh. We did. Could he have done it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I could get vocals Zayongoma from Bryson Tiller. Yeah. Yeah. This is wild thoughts. Wild yeah. thoughts. With Rihanna. Can you? Yeah. And that, you know that's one one of my favorite verses as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna yeah. play it. But yo, one to get all these features, mm-hmm. you just need Khalid. True. Literally, to get all these yep. features in one album. And all these are A-list musicians who are busy as hell. Yeah. For them to answer the college time <laughs> call. I'm like, yeah. do you know how many times Drake has saved Khalid's music career? <laughs> Bro, have you seen how Khalid is terrible as a DJ? No. Have you seen clips of when he goes to clubs and then he takes over the decks and then he just does the no, he's not terrible. No. He's not terrible. It's just Khalid ah. being Khalid, but Khalid is fire. Really? No. Bro, I've never check, seen check, him. check old Khalid when he was still like, yeah. on radio or when he was a Terror proper school. DJ doing okay. the sound clashes and everything. Nah, mm. Khalid is proper, bro. He's proper. But, but see, he's, Size two, yeah. you know, he'll come Jibamba. do his songs at Jibambe, then go. Like, he's not playing a set. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, oh, I'm Nilipi anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, Khalid makes a lot of money from business. For sure. Yeah. True. 
proper businessman yeah. makes so much money from endorsements, from business, from socials. But there's no way Khalid is husband. not either laundering money through music or no. But executive producing. So the money comes from. Who? He's yeah. listed from every. See, he owns like a part of every song. True. A part of every album. Uh, True. Eh, album. Oof. Okay, oh, so no. streams. <laughs> okay, so okay, so do the math. Do yeah. the math. Yeah. So, what Khalid would get from his streams put together, because streams don't pay well, bro, yeah. is not even enough to just mix the album to begin with. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have a, the type of album where he tour. <laughs> he doesn't tour. That's the thing. That's what I'm asking. How does he make money? He we have How will you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Who are also touring? <laughs> <laughs> Who are also touring? No, he could tour because he's a DJ. Yeah. He's, he could tour. But I think Khalid is at the level yeah. where he doesn't need the yeah, tour he money. Need all he doesn't that. need music money. But also, yeah. you see, for Khalid to keep making money, he mm -hmm. needs to keep putting out music. Yeah. So music could be one of the business ventures that he puts money in that does not really yeah. make money. Yeah. But he owns the record with the best. He, he owns, music. yeah. Uh, then he's part of Rock Nation and Epic. I think okay. either publishing and distribution. I don't okay. know what the deals That's are. Okay. So, yeah, the, the money laundering thing, I was just make, make yeah. joking. For sure, he doesn't make money from music. Yeah. We begin yeah. there. But then he needs the music to be DJ Khalid mm. to get all the deals but and to keep gets. moving. That's true. I hear you. Because he, when he listed um, Assad as the son, <laughs> when he was one year old as an executive producer, I can't remember what album it was. Yeah, one before this yeah. one. Yeah, he listed the, the kid <laughs> as an executive producer. <laughs> and then guys were like, hey, this kid is <laughs> making more money Father than Father of me. Assad. Yeah. But also... It's called Father of Assad. Yeah, the album is named after me. But also, uh -huh. do you know, it mm. could be... It could be Okay, so executive producers for movies and music is the guys who actually paid. Mm. The, men, the men never touched anything, yeah. but you paid for it with the exec. Right. Yeah. So, do you think he actually took money from second. Khalid's savings? She's <laughs> 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 like, exec. I'm yeah. like, nigga. That's what I'm saying. As a like, producer, you paid nice. You paid. You're so, like, I'm going to get all these artists in studio and I'm going to make sure their fees are paid. Their studio time is paid. Did you know he flies them private to go record the music? Wow. God damn. Yeah. The Migos talk about it. He flies yeah, them private. There's, a, of course, Khalid has a chef. Um, mm -hmm. Of yeah, course, he has a chef. I don't have to give it my time. Ati? Let's attack a fly private once. We will. We will. But this is a day we were two people on the plane going to Mombasa. It felt like <laughs> <laughs> I was one of those like 50 seater planes. I was just like, oh <laughs> why were you two people on the plane? <laughs> I guess people didn't book. And that was one of the tickets that I bought cash because I missed my flight. Wait, so this is not the wrong flight that um, uh, Alex booked. No, this booked is you. not. No, no, this, it's not that one. Hey, I've had <laughs> <in Sangana. laughs> yeah. So I was going to Diani for my cousin's wedding, yeah. and then you see how on the flight the, when I booked online, it wrote um, we are leaving at thirteen ten. Oh mm. God! But in my mind, I saw three ten. So I'm getting to the airport at two ten. <laughs> <laughs> one hour I leave Missouri, and then I've been told that your flight is probably Left landing right now. Yeah. So I look at my ticket. I'm like, okay, when's the next flight? They're like tomorrow. So this is a Friday. The wedding is on Saturday. They're like, the next flight is tomorrow at noon. I'm like, I can't. The wedding is tomorrow. Mm. So they say, let, let's check. They check. They find there's another. This shoddy shoddy airlines at Wilson. Mm. Uh, there's a flight that's in the next fifteen minutes. Was G20. I was like, cool. How much is it to, to Diani one way? They said fourteen k. I was mm. like, shit. Then we nego the ficard 11k because they said you can nego. Yeah, I didn't even know. So this person told me, um, let me call, let me make a few calls, and then they tell me it's eleven thousand. Me, I was like, I have five. <laughs> 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 and then I, they told me, you know, it's like only one or two seats left, and maybe someone is booking right now. So just ah, so I just chomped cash. I gave her, and then when we got into the plane, we were two people. I was so mad at her. Wow, I was I like, wow, you. yeah. The same way the, Uga the Ugandan uh, ah. has played you as well. <laughs> Uganda is something else. Hey. Yeah. But how long have you been um, rolling? Like one hour, two minutes. One hour, seven minutes. Ah, okay. and those are like a good three, four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, cool. So, shout out to DJ Khaled, man. Yeah. Yeah, DJ Khaled, bro. Mm -hmm. And this is his 13th studio album. Crazy, man. Shout out to him. Yeah. You know, into more interesting stories, mm -hmm. bruh, we have to move to Colombia. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way we're missing out. <laughs> there is no way. Yeah, is this true, though? Yeah. Because I saw it, but I don't know if it's true. It's one of those things that's going to take, like, forever to happen. Before it actually yeah. is. I saw yeah. someone, someone tweeted that uh, uh, drugs... W wait, what did they say? That drugs w won the war on drugs. Yeah. Is that what... Is that, was no, that the tweet? Was, no. It for the, the only way to win the war on drugs is to decriminalize everything. No. Um, 
Colombia. Dra- I think it was drugs has won the war. On drugs, drugs. yeah. That's someone yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the drugs has won the war on drugs. <laughs> but yo, do you think this is actually true? I haven't Could read the be. news. Could be. So, uh, uh, okay. So the main reason is because they want to end wars. Because, I mean, you know how bad it gets. We've yeah. seen from the movies. We've seen... Uh, from So that, like, for peace to exist, it got to the point where the government is actually considering uh, decriminalizing cocaine. Does, do you think if this becomes legal, <laughs> what happens to the value of cocaine? No, I think cocaine is one of those drugs that... Okay, it's that expensive because of the, the, the conduits of how it gets to you. Exactly. Cindy, yes. when, so, of course, the price will drop mad. But yeah. it's also one of those drugs. How do you package cocaine? <laughs> you need such a... From what I've heard online. <laughs> you need just Kidogo. <laughs> so how are you going? You, like, you go to your local shopkeeper and you're like, can I have half a gram? <laughs> I mean, it's like cigarettes. Like you buy 20 grams within like a box. Yeah. I think they could package it in different form, forms. Yeah. Just like, like marijuana. You can buy it in chocolates. You can mm. buy it in a tea. Okay. You can... You can, you, can, yeah, you can just... <laughs> 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 These guys will buy like a kilo. <laughs> I'm buying the whole supply for the year. <laughs> just at once. <laughs> no. but, I'm, but I'm curious to see how this goes. Uh, I don't think yeah. it's going to happen for sure. Um, well, if it does, it probably will take a very long time. Because Okay, so you're making it legal. Now, because mm. a lot of the money, again, in cocaine is because exactly. of, the, of the supply the supply chain. Yeah. So now you're making it legal. I can literally farm it, uh, process it, and yeah. move yeah, it to yeah, whatever I want to move it. But also, okay, you're making it legal within where? Colombia. Because the US is not going to make cocaine. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But of course, it's going to go to cocaine. No, it's, it's gonna, not, it's gonna, gonna go to the US. It's gonna go to the US, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go to the US. Yeah. But yeah. now the value has gone down, and yeah. now it's it's legal within Colombia only. Legal so, or not illegal, yeah. cocaine in Colombia, from what you've seen, it looks like it's, yeah. it's yeah. like weed in Nairobi. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not legal, but <laughs> it's legal. <laughs> it's <laughs> telling me, I, and I don't know anymore. Is weed illegal? <laughs> May I plead the fifth? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy because so imagine Wajakoya's next campaign. <laughs> like, we're gonna pay Kenya's debt with three kilos <laughs> of the finest. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. But shout out to you. I'm, I'm curious to see how, I'm curious to see how this goes. Honestly. Um, I think we have one more story. We can do one more story, right? Mm. We can do one more story. Cool. Um, hmm. Ah, Mtumba. Let's do the Mtumba one. <laughs> <laughs> so guys online are complaining that since the word thrifting came about, Mtumba has become so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the same, same Gikosh clothes. Like, yeah. <laughs> and Instagram pages. Oh, <laughs> stylists. You know, it's crazy because imagine Kitambo is got to end Yeah. Early in the morning, like at six or seven, to get the best deals and then you... You get to Kondani, you know your people, you have connects. Yeah. And then now you're just sitting in your house mm-hmm. and you see a pair of Converse <laughs> and it's in your house in two hours. But you've paid for the convenience. Yeah. Then there's, there's someone who still goes to Wadi early in the morning. Then they're like, I used to buy this at 800. So I'm about 2,500. Even in Gikosh? Yeah. Yeah, because they yeah. found out like... Because now they're online. They're yeah. all online. The guys, guys are making so much margin They're like, online. if you, if you don't know. buy it, someone will. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. How much do you thrift? <laughs> Me, I'm one of those people who are being hated on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends. If I if I can't find something, yeah. like of course there are these pieces that sque- you know, like they're rare to find. You, I might have to see, but I which pieces rarely, are rare to find? Rarely. Like that's that's what I'm saying. Like, let's say if I'm looking for like, um, like clutch bags. Okay. There's a specific, like maybe the specific kind of clutch bag that I want. Says it pata online. Of course, there I love to go thrift, but. Really, really. Mm. But would you go yourself, or you have people who? I go you have my, if I need to go, of okay. course, because I have friends, you know. Mm. Who, Where would yeah, you go, so, Gikosh? No, maybe Toy. Okay. Yeah. May go to Toy and Raka, but mostly buy online. <laughs> yeah, from your guy. You know, I'm Tumba thrifted to yeah. five four. <laughs> I followed like how many times do I mention you on things? Like, yeah. bro, look at this jacket. Most is always coffee. Yeah, beautiful jacket yeah. and all this. Uh, yeah, but I, I think I also thrift a lot, but mm. mainly, mainly. Not even online. Mainly, maybe, maybe on gigs. Mm-hmm. Specific places, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but I think also, since platform came into rivers, <laughs> the like I've changed. intentionally <laughs> avoided two rivers. Yeah. Because now I don't have the money to go into two rivers. I can't help myself. So I told I, you. I, so I thought you were living stupid. What just happened? No, I'm still living stupid. Like I could have the last 3K. <laughs> I'm going to. He's already, going my, he's already <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Uh. But anyway, man, so our live recording is coming up in a few episodes. Shout yep. out to everyone who are SVP'd. We are fully booked. We are done. Dopeness. Um, I think we'll be making some announcements online for the guys. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, check out our socials or our YouTube descriptions and everything. Mm. But this is episode 28. We are Mark Chuck! <laughs> Over 26. This is the Bag of Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Bag of Podcast. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>